Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Christine and Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. This is for Taurus. Taurus, this is your end of November, let's call it. It's already the 17th today. Sorry I'm late, guys. Um, so Taurus, let's say this is your end of November, or let's call it, I don't know, November 17th through the 30th. Okay, so Taurus, what's going on? Taurus, there's action in your fourth house. This is not Taurus, sorry. This is Leo. <laughs> this is for Leo. Leo, um, this is there's action in your fourth house of Scorpio, all right? We just said that's powerful, um, rejuvenating, regenerating new moon in Scorpio. We have Mercury there as well. So it's like digging up stuff. It's healing stuff, you know? It's um, mending. It's, uh, it's the resurrection of something or a death of something, right? Scorpio, death and rebirth. Um, we also have action in your sixth house of Capricorn, a big action, Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. Today is the 17th, as I'm, as I'm film, filming this, sorry. I don't know uh, when it's going to upload. But today, on the 17th of November, we do have Jupiter and Pluto conjunction. So Pluto, ruler of Scorpio. So all the energy really is about death and rebirth, guys. Putting yourself, you know, healing what you need to heal, your shadow, um, asking yourself the questions as to what your life looks like and are you satisfied emotionally with, you know, your life right now. Um, so Pluto and, Sa and Jupiter. Jupiter is an expensive planet. It's, uh, it brings abundance. It brings manifestation. Scorpio is very much so about manifestation as well, especially the new moon in Scorpio. So with um, Saturn there, it's like karma. So this is really tied to karma and um spirituality you know deep 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 spirituality inner child okay so uh, it being your sixth house this could pertain to your health maybe you're changing your diet maybe you start to exercise maybe you might have some health scares health issues or you had health issues and you just found out that it was just a scare um pertaining to the fourth house scorpio your first house scorpio you might be moving because ninth, um, your ninth house is Aries and there's Mars there. So Mars just went direct as well on the 13th, I think, I believe. So that's Mars in Aries. It's, you know, it's sign. Mars is the rule of Aries. There's movement forward. There's momentum. There's power. There's courage, you know, um, initiation. So, yeah, you might have moved because correlation to Scorpio and the Mars in your ninth house, which is ninth house is about foreign travel, you know. Um, expansion so you might have moved or you're like doing some work at your home or working from home either you're renovating or working from home Leo um, I know that in your past readings you guys have felt kind of stuck with this heavy energy you guys are really all about the love the fun the joy the kid stuff you know there might have been a lot of restrictions so I think you're like kind of like looking for that happiness um, in like uh, you know purchases or renovations or just moving you know some of you like I said are maybe uh, starting to work from home um, what else do we have we do have in your 10th house of Taurus Uranus retrograde still and in your eighth house of Pisces there's Neptune retrograde those are the only two that are still retrograde so that's that's good news guys because remember when we had all a lot of planets um, retrograde that was tough energy and especially Mars has been retrograde for two months, I think, you know, in, in Aries, the self. So there's definitely for everyone, there's rejuvenation and regeneration here, but it's free will. It's up to us individually to jump on that wagon and move forward and ask ourselves the questions because Venus is in Libra, your third house. Communication about love, what you desire, what is okay for you, what works for you and what no longer doesn't. Okay. Or what you, just what you feel in relationships, right? Especially when Venus is going to move into Scorpio. Wow. You know, it's time to speak now, guys. Okay. Somebody might speak to you about what they're not happy about, what doesn't fulfill them anymore. But mainly for you guys, really, Leo, I feel like you guys are just like, you've been so in a stale position, like so like frustrated and blocked and like kind of just unhappy, which your, happy, your nature is happiness. You know, you're, you're the inner child. You're the sun, you know. You're always energy, your energy uh, levels are always high. You're always like joyful, you know, 
it's been kind of tough. So um, right now, Leo is about to ask. It's, it's time to ask yourself, sorry, um, like what do you want for your future? Okay. What do you want to improve or let go of? Two cards is too much, but I'm going to see what it is. Fortune meets opportunity. Everybody got this card. The earthly weaver of worlds. Everyone got this card. It's crazy. Okay, let's shuffle again. For Leo, please, spirit. Let's get more in depth, you know. Because the message is, <laughs> you know, every... It, it's funny how <clears throat> no matter what sign you are, it always comes back to the same thing. Reevaluation, healing, facing your shadow in order to rebirth and rise like the phoenix. Scorpio, we are in Scorpio season, the most powerful sign in the zodiac. Okay, guys, <clears throat> we're about to enter Sag, though, pretty soon, on the 22nd, I think. So, lots of fire now. We've been a lot in water and air. We're entering Sag, fire, which is cool. Mars, uh, direct and Aries as well. So there's momentum forward here after like a really, really long time of stagnation and just like lethargy. All right, let's see, Leo. Blind spots, call of darkness. So, hmm, still some stuff you need to work out, Leo. Still some stuff you need to analyze and have perspective and like really, really pinpoint what the situation is no matter what this pertains to there's still some things you're not seeing leo okay there's still some things that are not clear that need to be clarified addressed and clarified okay and analyzed that's what mercury helps us do too when it's in scorpio because mercury digs deep it's very curious it goes really really all the way all right now that was the Halloween deck by Stacey DeMarco. This is the Good Terror by uh, Colette Baron reed Let's see what we get. For Leo Spirit. I don't know why I'm hearing secrets at the home. Somebody might have uh, hid you that somebody was sick. Somebody might have hid their illness. Or maybe you did this. Okay. Because remember, Capricorn is your sixth house. Like I said, Jupiter, Pluto. Yeah. Somebody might have hit some kind of, uh, that they were sick. You or somebody else around you in your, in your home or family member, you know. So these are only major arcanas because we're getting deep, deep, deep Scorpio style here. Temptation, the devil, a lot of people got this too, but for in different, uh, it applied differently depending on the other cards around, but this is the devil, but in this deck, you know, all the cards here, they're very like soft. That's why it's called the good tarot. So this is not a scary card, right? Temptation, it's the devil. It's um, things that necessarily we go towards that are not necessarily good for us, that we like, we enjoy, that make us feel a certain type of way that uh, kind of like soothe us, but that are they, you know, we have to ask ourselves, is it very healthy, right? These are habits. But in this deck, I mean, uh, I feel like it's that lethargy. It's that um, maybe some of you do smoke <laughs> too much, drink too much. Because like I said, you've been so like lost kind of, you know, just no love, no brightness. Everything has been so dim and restrictive and, and, and halted, you know. That you might have just been found, you might have found yourself so stuck that you maybe started smoking weed or you started drinking a little bit too much or indulging some indulgence to compensate for the lack of um, excitement. Okay, see how she's lethargic, she's on the peach, but meanwhile, there's something there's a treasure here that she's not seeing because she's so wrapped up in what's not working. You see. So this blind spot could be a positive blind spot. There's a light here that you're not seeing. There's an opportunity that you're not seeing. It takes me back to this chest with gold here. There's an opportunity you're not seeing. There's something, um, or maybe you're not looking at the, you're not looking at the situation, whatever situation you're in, in a positive way. Maybe you're really like 
focused too you're too focused on the negative here maybe i feel for some of you meanwhile spirit wants to give you something you know there's a message a spiritual message that's your angels your guides they're trying to to uh, communicate with you um maybe you guys should do light a candle you know there's a message that wants to there's something that spirit is trying to show you that you're not seeing either because you just don't see it or you're too numbed out to see it you see what i'm saying so pay attention leo basically pay attention okay let's see okay let's get uh, let's clarify with the Los Carrero, um, Los Carrero Bayo, right away, tarot mini deck. I love it. Spirit, so, what's that for Leo, please? August, August. Because you're born in August. That's crazy. You're far away from August. Anyway, I can feel it. It's cold. All right, Leos, Leos, Spirit, what do I have for Leos? November 17th to the 30th, Leo. Leo's please, Spirit. November 3rd, 17th, sorry, to the 30th. I'm getting my dates wrong here. So let's see what we get. And the devil card is a six. So for, for a lot of you, I think there's something to do with health. You or somebody around you. I don't know what that's about. See, there's that confusion, that Neptunian energy. And guys, Neptune is doing a T-square to the North Node and the South Node. No North Node is in Gemini and the South Node is in Sag. Sag is your fifth house, right, um, of passion. So South Node is stuff we need, we've learned, you know, it's old karma. It's stuff we've learned. Usually the South Node is our karma and that's what we aspire to pay so we can move towards our North Node, which is our destined path towards, you know, our higher self, our purpose. So... There's confusion here because Neptune is the confuser. Neptune will put a wool over your eye, taint, rose tainted glasses, smoke and mirrors. Um, so that's why this blind spot came up. There's something you're not seeing because you're confused, basically. Or you're, like I said, guys, um, whatever you're doing, you're indulging too much. Some, for some of you, it's really alcohol, seriously. See, <clears throat> there's a need for you to go within and find and, and, and like really connect to spirit. There's a message here that wants to come down. See, the hangman like this, it looks almost like the flame, right? It's illumination. These kind, this card are kind of like a mirror each other. But it's, um, this is the hangman reverse. This is when you're illuminated and you see things clearly and you're like, uh-huh. But this way, it's like you still need to go within. This is spirit telling you, okay, time to go within now because there's something you're not seeing. All right? And there's a lot of confusion here. Um, there's no, there's lack of clarity here that, that you have to go within to find. And the only way you're going to find it is if you get, you let go of any attachment, any attachment. It's not even people. It's, I think, things you're doing to get your mind off of, you know, the unhappiness, the unsatisfaction you feel. And it doesn't have to be drugs or alcohol, guys. It could be like binging, you know, um, on, you know, Netflix. It could be anything that you're doing to distract you from feeling and connecting to your spirit, your soul. Anything, like whenever you feel these emotions, let it just run through. Because I think there's something at the end, but you have to go through the washing machine. That's Scorpio. It's a death and the rebirth. You have to die to rebirth, right? So I feel like you're, 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 you're fighting it though. Meanwhile, there's something there. If you just go in the dark, in the cave, you will find that illumination. You know what I mean? There's something, spirit wants to communicate something to you, but you have to dive deep. Okay. All right, let's get a moon or a queen of the moon oracle by Stacey DeMarco. It's time for a deep dive. Spirit, what do you have for Leo, November 17th to the 30th, Leo?
Leo, Spirit, Leo, November 17th to the 30th, Leo. Power. Seven, spirituality. Remember I was talking about lethargy, boredom, lack of um, motivation. Um, whatever it is you're doing is really tarnishing your power, Leo, your vision. It's um, interfering with your clarity. This is, for me, Mars card. Power is like Mars and Aries. This is it. It's time to, har to, 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 to own in on that energy. But it's a spiritual energy. It's a spiritual recharge. Time for a spiritual recharge. Okay, Leo? Basically, it's time, to, it's time for a deep dive and it's time to recharge spiritually. See? Deep dive for a spiritual recharge, basically. Okay, Leo? All right. I don't know what I'm going to call this reading. That's why I pick, I pick up the, the, the pictures. The cards like that because... Um, I, it's my thumbnail. Look, under the um, hangman, we have the four cups. Yeah, you're not seeing it because you're, it's your blind spot. That's your blind spot. It's your blind spot. But there's illumination, but you have to go and turn around and go in the dark and find that light. Okay, and that will only come with you standing still, stopping and being clear and level-headed and open all right leo look messages from the spirit world again illumination downloads oh wow and then we have temperance yeah it's, it's the spirit world they're trying to speak to you leo they are Spirit is trying to speak to you. Listen. Spirit is trying to, Spirit wants to come in and tell you something here, Leo, but you got to listen. You have to listen. You have to go within. Okay? All right. Let's keep going here. Wait a minute. This was after the Four of Cups. Oops. Let's go. All right. Let's get a astrological card from I don't know whom but it's the zodiac the houses and the planets let's see what comes up for you Leo spare what for Leo please November 17th it's so gloomy here 17th to do that's probably how you feel November 17th sorry um till the uh, look Aries Till the um, 30th. Let's see. Leo, please hear it. Leo's. Spirit, what if? Okay. Neptune. Ooh, guys. I'm telling you, Neptune is messing with you, Leo. Neptune is. <laughs> Neptune, ruler of Pisces, addictions, psychosis, depression. It's the psyche. Mental health. Guys, I'm telling you, you guys are doing something here and um, it's to numb yourself, whatever it is. Like I said, it doesn't have to be alcohol or drugs. But you're doing something here that is like, uh, it's creating a blind spot. It's creating blind spots, not just one. This is all about confusion um lack of clarity uh fogginess and then on the other and temptation here the devil let's not forget okay those energies go together and then you have these beautiful energies over here of illumination and power 
You see how that works, Leo? Watch out because I feel like really it's time for a, re a spiritual reset here. Time to focus. All right, Leos. All right, let's get a card, a crystal. Oh, I didn't even read it. Sorry, guys. Your fantasies, yearnings, <laughs> longings, and potential for illusion. Your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potential for illusion. Seven of Cups, all about illusion. This is actually, I think, Neptune and Pisces, this card. Yeah, guys. <sighs> Message is pretty clear here. Let's see what else we get. From the Crystal Reading Oracle by Rochelle Charman for Leo Spirit. Um, November 17th to the 30th, Leos. November 17th to the 30th, Leos. See? Source. <laughs> Remember the temperance card. Guys, it's time to connect. Because Neptune, also, the high, you know, Pisces, the high end, high end. The positive side of Pisces is that he's connected to the source. It's like almost he has a ladder there. It's the last sign, right? It's when we, we uh, ascend. So don't... Um, don't choose the negative side of Pisces, which is all about, you know, running away, indulging because it's too intense. Because Pisces gets really scared because they feel everything and they tend to want to escape reality because it's too much for them. Look, we have courage. Then they talk about power, courage. This is the, this is the Martian energy all day, tiger's eye. This is Martian Aries, courage. And Leo, you are represented by the lion. The Leo card in the tarot is strength. I think you guys have lost yourself somehow, lost your courage. You, there's a sense of like giving up here or just going with the flow a little too much. You know, not fighting, fighting, you know, not fighting that feeling, not f just abandoning, just giving up. Okay, I want to say giving up. I think you, most of you have given up. And you're like, okay, we'll see whenever this is over. I don't know. I'm just tired. You know, this makes me feel good. So I'm going to do this. So I don't have to think about how, you know, unsatisfied I am. But you got to fight. You have to fight. This is the time. This is the time is now. Saturn wants to see you fight. So Jupiter can give you the blessings. Scorpio, Newman and Scorpio is helping you. Mercury and Scorpio is helping you identify those blind spots. All right, Leo. Okay. Last but not least, we're going to get a divine door from Enrico and Gracias. These are beautiful cards. Let's get a spiritual advice for you, Leo. Okay. Spirit, what do for Leo, please? What is the advice for Leo, Spirit? What is your advice for <clears throat> Leo, November 17th to the 30th? <sighs> your advice for Leo, Spirit. I love these cards. Oh, I know this card. I love it. I just got this deck, so I know a few of them. This is about protecting your sacred space. So it says, bless this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear Palo Santo or sage will clear the air. Bless this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santo or sage will clear the air. Yes, there's a stagnant energy around you or in, in you. Your aura, your... You have to... There's stagnation. There's, um, like I said, mm, forfeit. There's... Um, And motivation and it's your your energy is stagnant there's a halt you know and I feel like you need to move your energy somehow physical body you know your body remember six house your six house is Capricorn 
Jupiter, super, uh, Jupiter, Pluto, and, and um, Saturn. Remember, I was talking about your physique, maybe exercising. Leo, you need to do some yoga, meditate, um, sage, something to do with your energy. Your energy is off. Sorry, Leo, to tell you that. But it's not nothing major, right? There's worse than that. I'm not, you're not sick. I'm not saying you're sick. Like I said in the beginning, some of you, you know, had a health scare or someone around you had a health scare. Um, you know, that they might have hidden because they, were, they didn't know what it was, but now they find out that it's nothing, you know? But, um, or if that was what was keeping you down, Leo, Spirit wants to let you know that, uh, no, it's an illusion, you're fine. Or if somebody, it's somebody else in your environment, your parent, your, someone, a family member, a friend, or whatever, they're fine, they're fine, know that, okay? Um, and you need to, first of all clear your mind don't be in this negative energy temptation of attachment or of like illusion seven of cups neptune spirit wants you to connect and to align yourself work on your energy clear your space sage or palo santo do some yoga do some aerobics i don't know what you do leo but you know uh, write you know do some scribing write on a notepad what you feel you need to um transmute some energy here that is not good for you it's stagnant it's stale and it's keeping you in confusion and it's creating these blind spots it's taking away your power your energy your momentum and your happiness your glow it's taking away your glow leo you guys are the sun okay so I love you guys, Leo. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please, guys, help me, help me, help me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. It's really quick. Please subscribe. Of course, I'm not going to force you. If you like the reading, if you feel like it, right, please do so. It helps me so much, and I'll be so, so grateful for you. Um, so, so grateful that you did so, I want to say. I'm talking so fast. I just came from outside. I'm kind of, like, <laughs> nervous. You know, something happened. I don't want to talk about it, but whatever. Oh, I'm going to calm myself down too and uh, light some sage. You see, Leo, sage is very good for balancing energy. Sage, Palo Santo. My favorite one, though, you know what it is? It's um, Copal or Frankincense. Oh, boy. Those are amazing for getting rid of negative energy, negative thoughts. They are the best. Copal and... Um, Mm, frankincense there it's a resin guys if you can get that go get that i recommend it especially with this card sacred space here bless this space and what i'm seeing here with the cards you being confused and just like unmotivated which is not your character leo you guys are so energetic and happy and joyful right so um i recommend that okay all right i love you guys bye leo